going to talk a little bit about the water heater on uh, your new RV. Uh, most of these operate about the same way. The controls for inside uh, will control gas and often electric as well. But you got to make sure that the electrical element is switched on out here on some models. That switch is right on the bottom left corner of the unit. Now when you push the electric switch from the inside, uh, you'll have the capability of running both electric and gas on the hot water heater. Occasionally after you've been hooked up for a while, uh, you might notice the relief valve start dripping. Uh, if that bothers you, um, usually it means you've lost the air expansion pocket that's supposed to be in there. Uh, the correct way to remedy that would be to shut off the water supply, uh, depressurize it, and then crack open the pressure relief valve and let some air back into the system so that you have an air expansion pocket and it doesn't force water out the overflow. If you're experiencing um, hot and cold mixing, like a burst of hot water followed quickly by some cold water, um, check the bypass valves on the rear of the water heater. Uh, make sure that they're in the correct position if it's been recently winterized. Uh, also the utility shower, if that's left on, um, that can cause hot and cold water mixing behind it, so you want to make sure it's actually off at the valves and not just off at the shower head.